Good evening, this is Steve Davis, lead forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in Milwaukee Sullivan. I'd like to present some information on the timing of the precipitation tomorrow related to the winter storm moving into the western Great Lakes. As most of you know, the headlines have been pulled back a little bit across southern Wisconsin and snow amounts have been lowered. The Milwaukee metro area is likely to only see an inch or less of snow. In fact, it'll be mostly rain, we think, during the bulk of this event. Snow amounts could increase to about three to four inches in the Madison area, with the highest snow amounts northwest of Madison across Sauk, Marquette, Green Lake, and parts of Fond du Lac County. Amounts up there could be in the four to six, maybe even some seven inch amounts there. As you can see from this graphic, the track of the low pressure system is now moving from northeast Kansas across northwest Illinois and then across southeast Wisconsin, mainly the Milwaukee metro area, and then it continues northeast from there. This track is not favorable for any kind of significant snow across far southern Wisconsin. This would put the heavy snow axis essentially from Iron Mountain, Michigan through Eau Claire and La Crosse. And this graphic here shows the timing that we're expecting. On the left-hand side is what we think is going to be going on between 6 and 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. In fact, it looks very dry. Most of the precipitation should still be down across Iowa into Illinois. It'll be snow on that farther northwest area and then rain to the southeast of that. Between 9 a.m. and noon, that's when we think the bulk of the precipitation will move in. It'll be moving into areas southwest of Madison around 9 a.m., then reach the Milwaukee metro area between about 11 a.m. and noon. And then the precipitation continues fairly steady between noon and 5 p.m. Should be snow northwest of Madison with a transition to rain and snow. Uh, in that area that you see highlighted in purple, that covers the Madison area. And then farther to the southeast, it should be all rain. And then as far as precipitation diminishing, between 5 and 8 p.m. we should see what we call a dry slot moving into southern Wisconsin. That should allow the rain to diminish fairly quickly across areas mainly uh, south of Milwaukee and Madison. The snow should continue over far northwest Sauk and Marquette counties, again a transition to rain and snow uh, just south of that. And then you can see in the middle graphic between 9 p.m. and midnight, this is a simulated radar, and you can see much of southern Wisconsin uh, may end up being kind of dry. There's a lot of uncertainty here, uh, so we just have to pay attention uh, to the trends tomorrow evening. And then late tomorrow night, we expect the precipitation to continue to diminish. Uh, that's all I have for now. Uh, Stay uh, alert for updates to the forecast, and we'll have more updates uh, through the night and into tomorrow morning.